feels so weird even saying that. Oh man, so yesterday was such a fly by the seat of my pants day. Um, I think I've not even edited Vlogmas day three yet. I will do that as soon as I get home. I think I'm going to just combine three and four because yesterday I really didn't take a lot of footage since I was driving for a good portion of the day and then I was also um, like I was just with other people and you know the other people don't always want to be filmed. So anyways um, I think I might just put day three and four together but I was um, I got a last minute invitation to go out and hang with my daughter and her husband and we went to a, a thrift store and I just found a couple of books and a puzzle and then um, we tried to go to this, it, it's a thrift store for craft items. My daughter has been there before. What a great concept. So like we pull up and they, they were closed on Mondays. So a little bit bummed there, but like we just got to peek in the window. What an amazing concept. It was so cute inside. I, when we when she said like a thrift store for craft products, I was kind of thinking like a Goodwill, like a traditional thrift store. No, they had it all decked out like a little boutique. It was so cute. And my daughter said that she had, she's gotten like fabric there before to wrap presents in. She's gotten just like a single piece of card stock for, to make a card. Um, when like, you know, you don't want to buy like a whole ream of card stock and, um, all kinds of stuff. They had ribbons and packaging items. She said that they always have like a little craft space for kids to do a craft item. What an amazing concept. I love that. I actually just went through our, um, through a closet that had a lot of the kids' like craft supplies in it and stuff. And we're just not in that stage anymore. We still very crafty, but just not not like that, not like the younger kid craft and crafts. And so we just, my daughter was going to donate them. And then, um, her boss actually has young kiddos. And so she mentioned it to, to her and they, um, they took all the craft supplies, which I absolutely love. So anyway, so that was yesterday, but today I'm up early. My son does a CrossFit class super early in the morning like you can see behind me like the sun is kind of just starting to come out so but look at the sky behind me like you can see it over here too like it's pretty it was kind of foggy on the way in today but anyways so i opened up day four yesterday but it was so late at night because so how it happened is I was out to brunch with my stepmom, um, and that was like at 9.30, and then my daughter texts me around like 10, 10.30 saying, hey, have the, a free day today, unexpectedly, do you want to come out? And so I just arranged, kind of like miss, or rearranged the rest of my day for home and um, got things taken care of there, and then I just straight from brunch went out. Um, to meet my daughter so I didn't get back home until after 8 last night. Um, so I was just gone all day and I had thought that I would be opening up my advent after brunch yesterday. So anyways, um, yeah, I, I did, I was able to knit on my project and get the day four done, but I did not do the stitch along yet. And, um, so I need to catch up on that today. I'll have day two and day three to do of that today. And then I'll open up today's advents for you guys as well. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in since I didn't really get to two yesterday, but, um, it was such a great day yesterday. I just had so much fun and, um, it was just, it was really fun hanging out with them. So I just realized that I have forgotten the last two days to do the, um, the names of Christ, um, the names of Jesus, names of Christ. Anyways, so I just realized that I've forgotten for the last few days to do these, um, 
names of God. So I am going to do them real quick. Day three is servant. Day four is glory of the Lord. And let's do day five as well. Day five is arm of the Lord. I love these, you guys, because it just reminds us that Jesus is throughout all of scripture from Genesis 1-1 all the way through to Revelation. He's in every single part of scripture, which is just so cool. today my row one subscription so I um, got the row one subscription for a couple months in a row so that I could do the yarn advent with um, Amber from a lovely yarn and from with Annie so my initial thought process on that so if you um, watched me in my earlier vlogs this, for this year um, you will have seen that I had an issue with carpet beetles and it's a seasonal thing around here, but they love to eat yarn. And so I've since like put a lot of my yarn in um, glass jars and bags and containers and stuff to, um, so that that is no longer an issue. But um, when we were talking about this yarn swap, the idea was that we would um, save like some of our sock yarn throughout the year and then give that as our advent like in 10 gram mini skeins and I didn't feel right about doing that for my own stash unless it was new yarn that had come in that I had put in um, glass jars like immediately um, I just didn't want to like if the off chance that there was like a carpet beetle egg or something like that left in the yarn and like I've treated the yarn I've sprayed it with vinegar I've done all these steps but I just didn't feel good about it so with that said, I decided to, well, earlier in the year, I had like started collecting little things and then um, like little skeins and put some stuff aside. But then I also thought like, I have all of these 10 gram minis left over from when I used to dye yarn and I'm gonna dye their advent. Well, then all the stuff with my foot happened and I like, that was around the time that I would have needed to start dying and I just couldn't do it. So I, um, got a few months of the row one subscription and then chose some colors for each of the ladies from those and I kind of forgot to cancel my subscription I kept thinking about it and I'm like oh I need to do that I need to do that I need to do that and I get the double subscription so there's 20 10 gram minis so it's 200 grams total I think because I get both, like all 20 colors, which I needed at the time, but I don't need anymore. So I forgot to cancel 
in time. And I got the notice that I had been charged and it had shipped. And I like I have canceled it, but like I still love it. It's not a bad thing. But I wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna open up my row one yarn. So if you are a subscriber and you have not gotten your yarn yet and you don't want it to be um the secret revealed, then turn it off. Um, I'll put a timestamp down here on the bottom so that you know when to resume this video. But I want to give you guys plenty of time. So I'm gonna first just show you guys. This is how they come. If you're not familiar with row one, this is how they come. And they always have a little, um, these bags are so cute too. I love these little bags. But they always have a little envelope to, um, and it has like a little notion or something in there and a little goodie and um, tells who the dyer is. So. I'm going through this part of it to give you guys plenty of time to get to the stop and skip button in case you need to, to do that. But, um, okay, so this is from Keenan Hand Dyed Yarn. Um, so, yeah, I kind of wonder, maybe she's from the UK, I don't know. I'm just, I'm looking at some of the names of the of the yarn and it might be, I don't know, but okay, so here goes. So turn away if you don't wanna see it. A little candy cane and a little York peppermint patty. The, the treats are usually themed, so peppermint themed this, you know, for Christmas. I wonder why peppermint was coined like the Christmas flavor. And then, oh, look at this stitch marker. It's a little stocking. Isn't that so cute? Put that on my desk here. Okay. Here we go. I've warned you many times. Oh, those are pretty. So I have a lot of minis left over from the advents that I created and I'm actually gonna make um, the candy shop blanket, sweet shop blanket from Laura Penrose with all my leftovers. And I can't remember if each square is 10 or each triangle is five grams or 10 or what I cannot remember, but. Okay, so here's the second bag. I think it's usually the same little guy here, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same. There will be a lot of these colors that will go into my blanket for sure. Um, but I will like, I'll keep these wrapped up because of my little buggy problem. <laughs> and then when I'm ready to pull them out, I'll start working on them. But I have, since I think I've just already mentioned, but I have canceled the subscription since, but I have plenty of minis to work on. I also subscribe to the um, Homes, no, Heidi and Lana's Patreon. I do, I do a homespun house as well, but I do the tier for um, Heidi and Lana that gets you a 20 gram mini skein and I'm making her alignment throw out of all of those. And I even ordered some more 20 gram minis. Um, it was a, maybe the coffee shop sock or coffee shop shawl or cowl maybe. Um, 
kit, but I was able just to order. She let me just order the minis from her to put with to put in my alignment throw so I could make a little bit more headway on that. But look at how pretty the light is coming through here. It's kind of fun. It's a good little spot here in my corner. But um anyways, yeah, so my the Vlogmas from day three and four just finished exporting and so I'm gonna go ahead and get that on YouTube now and pack up some orders and get going with the rest of the day. class um, I do today was a, a restorative Pilates class so a lot of the people in that class are recovering from different ailments um, a lot of the people in that class are about 20 years older than I am but um, it was a really good starting place for me with the way that my foot was and all the um, like mm, different things that I had to modify in the class but I think I've kind of graduated. Um, it was still a great workout, but I, I'm feeling confident to bump up a class to the beginner Pilates class, uh, which will be really good. And the instructor thought so too. So I, I'll, the next class that I go to will be on Friday and that'll be a beginner class, but super excited. And then, so I am working currently on my embroidery. Look at how cute. These are all little French knots. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all little French knots. Super cute. It's just like, I say it's time consuming. It just took me a little while to kind of get in the groove of them. But um, this is day two that I am currently working on. So it's a lot of fun, you guys. I love this. I am like already even just looking forward to next year's because I think it'll be so fun. Um, and then I just wanted to share, since I went to Pilates class, I'm having a little chocolate treat as well. So two of my most favorite Trader Joe treats are their dark chocolate peanut butter cups. So get one of those. 
well, maybe two. And um, these are peanut butter rice crispy treats with coated with chocolate. Like they have a chocolate on, coating on top. They're so good. I love these. And these are kind of one of those things where like if you see them in your store, you should probably just grab a few boxes because they'll be gone the next time you come in. But they all say something cute on there. But so just update for you guys. I think the rest of the day I'm home. Um, which feels really good after being gone all day yesterday. So I am going to be winding up my um, day five advent yarn. I am going to be finishing up my day two and three for the stitch along. And again, like they're on day three today. So I'm, I'm not too far behind, honestly, but because they don't do it over the weekend. So it doesn't follow like the calendar dates don't coincide with like day one, day two, day three, etc. And then, um, yeah, I'll work on my advent project for a little bit. I also need to get some work in. I need to send out a couple emails and whatnot. Um, we have um, our Azure drop. If you've heard me talk about that before, Azure is a, um, it's like a buying co-op kind of. I don't know if it's really a co-op, but it's, you basically buy groceries and they get delivered once a month to a drop site. And like you, you're basically, um, you, so you, you place your order and when you go pick up your items, they're calling out names from the back of a truck and like a big semi truck. It's a big refrigerated truck. And like they call out your name, you pick up your stuff and you head out and it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll take you guys along with me on Sunday because our drop is on Sunday. And then, um, but our cutoff is Thursday for that order. So you have to have your order in by Thursday and I'm the coordinator for our drop. So I just need to send out reminder emails to everybody. And this will be our last one before Christmas. So got to make sure to let everybody know so that they can get all of their items that they need for Christmas. So just little things like that to do today and got some school stuff to do with my son as well. But that's about it.